Hey, salute gentlemen, wanted to give you an update. It's been a busy couple days, if you will. Um, I've got a lot to talk about uh, since I've been here in Phuket, if you will. Um, I've really come to really like this place a lot. Uh, Phuket has grown on me since I, like when I first got here, it was a lot. I've been downtown, I've taken into town. I went down there to, to Walking Street. Um, I've done a couple different tours and whatnot, and I want to kind of discuss some of those things. But over time, I freaking love this place. I just got to be honest. Now, with that said, let's get into it. Now, the other day, not yesterday, the day before, uh, right now it's Saturday night, so we're saying Thursday, went out to Kopibi Islands. Oh, my God, guys. Check this place out. This place is so marvelous and magnificent. I can't even describe it. It was a hell of a day, though. I got to be honest. Now, I booked this tour the first day I got here. I paid 1200 baht, which is about 30 something dollars. I didn't know it was gonna take 11 fucking hours for this tour. It was all day, and I mean, literally, everyone was passed out on everybody on the way back. I mean, it was literally a ton of shit they crammed in, and I was so exhausted after, uh, after that day, I came back and just went, Pfft. like I was out. And yesterday I chose, I didn't do anything yesterday. I stayed here all day. You know, I went and walked around and got something to eat and stuff. And I went down to the little uh, Harley Davidson place. Check this place out, Nikki's Handlebars. This place is pretty fucking awesome. Uh, really good food, awesome hamburgers. Good beer, good drinks, everything. And I wound up meeting an Australian guy there. And we talked for like half an hour. He was cool as hell. He's a truck driver, one of those real truck drivers. The guys in Australia that drive the, the fucking road trains, if you will pulling like three or four of those full-size trailers across Western Australia. So that was an interesting conversation. And the guy basically had done the same thing. He didn't live here, but he had a house here. Um, he worked in Australia. He had a, met a woman here years ago on holiday. They got married, I think 10 years ago is what he was saying. They had a daughter and they still live in Australia, but they were just, they're just here visiting one of his houses here so he makes enough money doing what he does in australia to own a house in thailand if you will and he was talking about he wound up buying a like a building almost a compound for her family too he was a really cool guy i, I enjoy talking to him a lot i really enjoy the australians they i just love their accent when they call you mate they're really respectful they're just i, I just enjoy the australians they're just good folks but anyway uh today i booked a fucking excursion this morning and this was one of the best days I've had yet. I booked a two hour uh, f uh, ATV excursion, of fo like four wheelers. And they came and picked me up in my hotel, took me down to uh, Caron Beach, uh, railway on the south tip of the island. And there's a big giant Buddha on top of the island, which there's a lot of Buddhas here, but this is, they call it a big Buddha. It's big, it's probably 200 feet tall, something like that, it's a big Buddha. <laughs> But we got to go ride the uh, motorbikes, or, or excuse me, the, uh, the four-wheelers, man. What a fucking blast. I had so much fun. And it was cool because when, when they picked me up for the tour, I got into the, to the shuttle bus this morning uh, that picked me up here at the, at the condo, and there was three other chicks from Japan or something, I'm guessing. They were cute. But I was like, cool, I'm going to go with uh, an excursion with these chicks. But we got there, and these chicks were terrified of four-wheelers. So I, like, I just hauled ass and went around them. And one of the guides, he came with me. We started laughing. We just left them motherfuckers in the dust, man. Y'all want to go slow? No. We wasn't playing around. And this dude was awesome. I got to be be honest. So basically, I had my own uh, guide to myself. And he, he kept pace. Like, he actually liked the fact that I was... I'd ridden four-wheelers before. And I like to fuck around and, you know, find out kind of thing. So I was putting it to the test on some situations. And he would... Man, I, it was just a hell of a time. And then we get back and we check out, man, they had elephants. There were elephants randomly walking throughout uh, throughout the bike tour, if you will, um, going up to the top of the mountain. There's plenty of elephants that are, that are walking around. There's different places where there's elephants pretty much everywhere, not to mention monkeys. And that brings me to my last point. Guys, this was fucking awesome. I've always been fascinated with monkeys. And, dude, this shit was so cool. The guy, like, literally, check this out. Yeah, man, this monkey was just incredible. It was so human-like to touch, like to when it when it shook my, reached out and touched my hand. It was so human-like. It was unreal. And he's like, touch, touch, touch. I pet it on top of the head. Then I wind up sitting down and it lays on my lap. 
He's like, sit down, sit down, sit down, sit down. So I sit down and the monkey just lays on my lap. And I was like, dude, I'm taking this motherfucker with me. <laughs> but man, this place has been incredible. I absolutely love it. Um, I mean, it's just the people are friendly every, well, to me, it's not as friendly as uh, Bangkok, in my opinion, because more people here are travelers and tourists than there are people on vacation and holidays. And honestly, nobody speaks English or Thai. You know what I mean? Like when you get in a shuttle bus to go to, you know, do some type of tour or excursion, it's going to be people from Germany, fucking people from Russia. It's going to be people from India speaking their different languages. So honestly, it's it's a melting pot. But there are people, these people are not here to stay. It's just a tourist town, if you will. Now, I'm not saying I would live in Phuket. I like it. I've had a lot of fun here. And I still got three or four more days. And I've already booked my hotel back in Bangkok, for the record. Uh, guys, check this out. Literally, 15 days. And I, I kind of went a little bit above on this one. 15 days for $800. And this is a nice hotel right on the Chow Phraya River, man. I am fucking excited about this, dude. Uh, this is when I get back to Bangkok. And when I get back to Bangkok, I think this Wednesday or Thursday, I got to get on the ball and get on business and get my visa straightened out. Um, so, I mean, I've been having fun. I've been getting here. I've been, you know, doing my thing, trying to uh, pick up on what Thailand's all about, uh, see the different sites and things off my bucket list. And I've managed to do all that stuff. Dude, this place is, I love Thailand. Every day it just grows on me even more and more. I just love the breeze at night. I love how the sun sets at 630, uh, which is nice because it's so fucking hot in the daytime. Like when the sun sets, it's, it's hot at night too, but it's, better you know you get a nice breeze that comes in off the ocean i actually love it here plus the nightlife really kicks off if you like that type of stuff man if you like partying you like the night scene the nightlife this place is for you but let me be honest if you're coming here you know to more or less try like from from my perspective try to make it here and stay here retire here build a life here you need to kind of avoid shit like that now i'm not saying don't go down and have some fun sometimes but i'm gonna tell you guys you're going to get caught up with a woman. That's really what it boils down to. You will get caught up. I got a woman blowing my phone up still. I don't know if I mentioned her on the last video. She she got my phone number because I booked a tour. I booked a tour out to Kobiki Islands. And she messages me literally every fucking morning. Good morning. How's it going? All this shit. Like trying to just begging me to shoot my shot at her. Uh, she's mid, probably mid-30s maybe. She's cute, but... I'm not trying to, I'm not trying to go that route, man. There's too many suckers out here getting their money. D dude, I don't trust what it is, especially if I don't speak the language. You, you can't trust this shit, man. You just got to get here, feel it out and know. Don't be falling for no bullshit because understand women are very catering to men. They know how to cater to men. They know how to feed men what they want. And, and you can't be a sucker, man. At least get here and spend some time here. Start to pick up on little social cues. And etiquette and things like that learning some of the language and whatnot and learn how people move and people behave start to like take it in understand that that modest women dress a certain way they don't have a bunch of tattoos listen modest women don't even chase modest women are very shy here but there's a lot of modest women but not in phuket not necessarily in phuket phuket is a different animal if you will this place is an island with several different cities several different little villages like i'm in patong right now patong is a pretty popular place here it's got a, it's its own little city uh it's got several skyscrapers i'm on the fourth level here there's seven levels of this condo there's a there's two or three i can see right off the top of the top deck that are probably 25 stories tall but it's not huge it's just maybe a two mile strip of beach and then it's kind of coved in with rock outcrops and then there's another beach Karong beach which is next to us if you will beautiful place so much to do guys but this this is really what i want to kind of leave it at even though i'm having a good time i'm having a good time solo and i can't even like begin to explain how much fun i've had because you're never here people are very friendly they're willing to talk they're willing to you know show you around be like you make friends easily here you make friends a lot easier than you think here you got people that are trying to show you things people are quick to want to be the first to show you things in thailand if you will 
So I, I just, I don't know. It's a different attitude. It's a different style, a different mentality. I fucking love it. Like the vibes are just off the charts here, man. It's just nothing but good vibes, good food, everything. Like you go into a McDonald's or a Burger King here and it's so fucking clean, so perfect. Everything you get is perfect. I mean, immaculate. People are just like, it's, it's just different. It's completely different. And it's something that you don't want to let go of. It's something I don't want to let go of. But guys, so far my assessment of Phuket, I love it. I've had a blast here. It's a good place. If you want to come here and have some fun, this is the spot to do it. This is the place that's got tons of beaches, tons of excursions, tons of beautiful places. And I've only begun to scratch the surface. There's so much to do. And if you're a single man and you wanted to go down certain avenues, I would urge caution. But guys, there's companionship. If, if that's what you're looking for here, tons of it. Um, and, and not all of them are like bar girls and shit like that. I'm not trying to defend that stuff. I'm saying avoid. I personally will avoid this. But some guys, they want to go down there and get their rocks off. Go for it, you know? Contrary to what you may think, the massage parlors here are very up upscale in a lot of ways. Now, you know the shadier ones, and that's the ones you're going to go get the, the rubber tub. But they, I mean, it's, it's just, it's, to me, it's obvious it's night and day, which ones cater to those men, because I don't even want to get a massage in those nasty ass places. Who knows what, skeeting all over the fucking table or wherever these guys are putting their wad, putting their load. It's disgusting. I don't even want a massage. I don't even, I don't want the bitches touching me. Nothing. Like if I'm looking for a massage, I want a legitimate massage place. So with that said, there's tons of options, dude. Prices are cheap. Um, even for uh, Phuket, they are a little bit more expensive, in my opinion, than Bangkok, but not much. Um, but you have to understand, there's seasons here. Right now, we are going into the rainy season, and it rains at any time. Like, basically, we got rain this morning. We got rain yesterday morning. The sun comes out. It's humid and <clears throat> it's hell. Um, but we're going into the rainy season, which is the off season in a lot of ways. The best prime time for Thailand is November, December, January, February. And that's kind of vague. That's not the entire place because Koh Samui is a little bit different. But for the most of Thailand, January, February, like basically December, November, December, January, February. That is peak season. That's the coolest part of the year, the driest part of the year. That's when most people come. So understand prices prices do go up during that time prices for lodging and everything goes up so if you're going to stay long term book it now book it now through that time so that you get the better deal and better rate and just understand which areas to avoid too like i wouldn't want to be here in peak prime season phuket is crazy the traffic's crazy there's so much going on there's so many people now i'm not saying it's not fun to go down there for one night but I don't want to be in the midst of that shit every day. You know what I'm saying? Like we're just, because the city never sleeps. Where I'm at is quiet. You know, I got a 7-Eleven right there. I can go get my beer or whatever. I got food places all around, but it's quiet. There's foot traffic, but it's not a bunch of karaoke and shit. But if you start walking two blocks down and you get down to Bangla Road, Bangla Road is unreal. Bangla Road is fucking complete party central. Non-stop Mardi Gras. You know what I'm saying? So with that said, man, a couple more days in Phuket. I love it here, man. Highly recommend coming to visit this place. Even as a single man, it's just a lot of fun, dude. You're going to have a lot of stuff to choose from, and it's very reasonable, reasonably priced. People are friendly. Most people here speak English, in my opinion, except for the tourists, the other tourists. You know, but the people that cater to the tourists, they speak very good English for the most part. So with that said, guys, I love y'all. Throw me some love if you don't mind. If you're new here, subscribe to the channel. And I'll see you motherfuckers on the next one. And I'm out of here.